Hey guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back, and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I want to talk to you about a story that broke this Saturday out there in Dallas-Fort Worth area. Shout out. And it's involving this man right here. This guy right here, age unknown, is Sadiq Shabazz. Mr. Shabazz is currently locked up and charged with two counts of murder. This guy right here killed both of these women who are sisters, 24-year-old Amaya Lockett and 22-year-old Jaleesa Lockett, the girlfriend of Sadiq Shabazz. The reason why or his explanation for why he did this he was angry. It was a bit of rage. And looking at this dude's face, you would think he would have better sense. I mean, obviously, he didn't make good decisions in the life he had out in the street any damn way. Take a look at this story. Dallas police say a man who murdered two sisters admitted he did it in a rage. Amaya and Jalissa Lockett were shot to death early Saturday morning following an argument. The suspect was dating one of the sisters. The sisters both leave behind young children who lost their moms. Fox Force Amelia Jones spoke with the woman's father. Amelia is in Dallas tonight. Amelia. Steve, their father tells me that the loss still doesn't feel real. He says that he wants the man who took his daughter's lives to be prosecuted to the fullest extent. They were beautiful women coming into their own right, beautiful mothers. This is how Chauncey Lockett will remember his daughters, 24-year-old Amaya Lockett and 22-year-old Jaleesa Lockett. To have them gone is, is a piece missing. Dallas police say the sisters were shot and killed inside their apartment on Washington Avenue, just south of Lemon Avenue, east of Central Expressway. Amaya's boyfriend was also shot, but is expected to survive his injuries. Police say Sadiq Shabazz, Jaleesa's boyfriend, was the shooter. It was just shocking, like surprising. Arrest documents say the four were hanging out at the apartment when Jaleesa and Shabazz started arguing. Amaya and her boyfriend went into the bedroom to get away when they heard a gunshot. When Amaya went to see what happened, Shabazz shot her and then shot her boyfriend as he tried to barricade himself in the bedroom. He was still able to call 911 and tell police what happened. Like I said, disbelief, like, you know, you, you hear about violent crimes and, and stuff like that happening, but you're always thinking, oh, it wouldn't happen to me. Lockett says before the shooting, Jaleesa was questioning if she wanted to stay in the relationship. The arrest documents say Shabazz admitted to shooting all three people out of rage. He also told police that he didn't mean to kill anyone. It's crazy so to say that, you know, it was unintentional. There's nothing unintentional about killing two people and trying to kill a third person. Lockett says Jaleesa's two-year-old daughter was inside the apartment when the shooting happened. She wasn't hurt and is with family. Amaya's son was with his dad that night. I'm going to make sure their the kids remember exactly who they were, exactly um, how um, outgoing Jaleesa was, how smart Amaya was. And how they were doing their best. Just getting used to not seeing them every day. That's going to be the hardest part. Shabazz is currently being held here at the Dallas County Jail. He's charged with capital murder of multiple persons. His bond is set at $3 million. All right, guys, that's the story. And may both of these ladies, Amaya and Jaleesa Lockett, rest in peace. Before I get into this story, talk about this dude and the whole situation. Ladies, I want you to chime in in the comment section. And I'm serious about this. Look at this man's face. Tell me how this ever got to the point where this became attractive to women. That shit on his face. Honestly, that right there looks like poor choices and undecisiveness and chaos in your life. It does. Now, I granted people make mistakes and put a lot of that shit on their face a lot of times, but he got multiple shit on his face was like graffiti so it ain't like he made that mistake once and was like damn 
at what point before you got that shit on your face or anybody out here that do this type of stuff, man, honestly. And I mean, people like what they like. Do you say, you know what? This would be a good idea for the rest of my life. These two women are gone. They're gone. If you look at the girlfriend or both of these girls and this guy, neither of them look like they would be with this type of person. Then again, the new normal is abnormal. This guy killed these girls because he got mad at his girlfriend because she was questioning whether she wanted to be with him or not. You think? <laughs> Seriously. He shot this girl, Jaleesa Lockett, his girlfriend, 22 years old, with her two-year-old daughter in the house. Now, I don't know if the daughter was his or not, because she was questioning whether she wanted to continue going with the relationship. They said they argued so bad that Amaya and her boyfriend got up and went in another room. Then he got mad, popped off and shot her. Shot the sister when the sister comes out the room, then shoots the man. He left the baby. You know what I'm saying? At what point? And the reason why I brought up his tattoos is, you know, poor decision making. And lack of follow through with your thinking. Is why I think a lot of people do that. Whether they right or wrong. Unless you've got more money than you can spend in your life, then that's a good idea. But when you got to go look for a job and, you know, go to PTA meetings and represent a child that you're going to have later on in life without being judged, that's not a good idea. This guy did all of this stuff and then told the cops, it was because I was angry. I was in a rage. Really? Did you see the father? You're looking at the father and looking at him. I don't know what. For an example of a father and following the leadership of a dad coming up, you would follow the leadership of this dude because he already showed he wasn't capable of taking you anywhere except to the grave. These are sad circumstances and this happens a lot. There are a lot of people out here in abusive relationships dealing with a guy or a girl that just has a self-destructive nature. Whether it's between them or themselves, this guy ruined his life, I already ruined his face, ruined his life, ruined the life of his little girl or, or that little girl, whoever, you know what I'm saying? By taking her mother away, taking two sisters out of here that didn't deserve to go. Where does that leave us? Another story, another, another tragedy. Crazy. You shot the dude too. I was mad the guy had enough, uh, you know, energy to call the police and tell what happened. This guy looks stupid as hell. And he should. See, when you kill people, like I say in a lot of my videos, you don't kill just that person. Part of other people that love that person and cared about them die too. This guy didn't have enough sense to realize I shouldn't be arguing and raising my voice and acting a fool in front of a child, let alone kill her mother in a fit of rage. How does a person, and I, this is just me, I mean, just my thinking, and it does happen. I mean, maybe I still ain't figured it out yet, like a lot of you. How do you get so angry where you don't see nothing but destruction of somebody that you claim you love and has people around that care for them? How hard is it to just walk out the door? I'm done. Argument supposedly happened. She's questioning whether she want to be with him. You know what? Okay, you don't want to be with me. That's cool. I'm gone. Now I'm just no different. Can't back down from nothing. Oh, you don't want to be with me? So insulted you had to take a life. Make it make sense. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. My thoughts and uh, condolences go out to the father and the family members. That all suffering from this tragedy, especially the baby girl, because she didn't deserve that. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.